Hello there. Welcome to Architect Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. The question is, what is base model? So this is again a very good concept. Not a lot of people know. And recently, it has become very popular. So base model. So mainly, it's in the database design and uh, NoSQL databases. Let's understand what exactly it is. So base model stand is an acronym and it stands for basic availability BA, S is for soft state and E is for eventual consistency. So these are the three principles that have to be followed when we follow the base model for database design. Let's understand what each of these are. So there are a lot of NoSQL databases. They do not support acid properties of database model. So in previous videos, we have explained ACID properties that have been very popular for relational databases, but NoSQL databases, they cannot support the ACID properties. In such a case, they go for supporting the base model, which is a like another way of database design. And it's a softer model for database design. And it's not an overkill like for NoSQL DBs to support the full ACID properties. So in base, first part is basic availability that, uh, I mean, if in a NoSQL database, data will be made available even in the case of multiple failures. <clears throat> so let's say like uh, we have a NoSQL database in a distributed system. So it's very much probable that some of the nodes will go down in the distributed system. So even if the nodes go down, the database still will be available. So it is achieved by using some kind of a replicas or storing the same data in multiple locations so that way we have the replication of data and if one copy of the data is lost it can be retrieved from the another copy so this will ensure that the database is not completely down whereas in the previous asset properties the databases at times may fully go down also so that impacts the availability so no sql databases when they are following the base model they have the basic availability some form of availability will be there. Second part is soft state. So in base model, acid properties are not followed. So due to this database may not have the strong consistency. So consistency we referred earlier that all the rules of the databases, all the constraints, all the business rules, when they are followed, then it is consistency. Whereas in such a case, when we have distributed system with the like, base model then all those rules may not be followed by all the nodes so it is the responsibility of the software developers to provide the data consistency in the system they need to take care of that whereas the database is not guaranteeing a strong consistency in base model so with this we come to the last word which is e that stands for eventual consistency so there is one rule regarding consistency in the base model that is no SQL database will converge to a consistent state at some point in future. <clears throat> so this is a good concept that uh, even though the database is not currently consistent, but it will not be always that it will remain in non-consistent state. So at some point of time, it will become consistent. That is like a guarantee that uh, the NoSQL database has to provide. Otherwise, it will be totally like impossible to handle such kind of non-consistency. So it means that there's no guarantee that database will be in consistent state after each transaction. Whereas in ACID model, the database is always in consistent state after every transaction. But with eventual consistency, we know there is a time after which the replication and all those things take place, the database will become in consistent state. So that's all uh, on the base model and if you have any questions uh, do post in your comments and if you want to understand about acid properties there's a different video that you can watch which was presented in a lecture earlier and thank you for all your support.